guys! Okay, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I always look a mess like this in my videos at one point or another, um, but anyway. Today is such an exciting video because I'm going to be doing something that I wanted to do for such a long time. I have literally filmed this intro a million times that I never actually went through with it. But today I really think I'm going to, even though this is like my hundredth time filming this, I really think I'm going to. And the fact that you're watching this means I did. So do you guys remember that video I made like a while, a while ago, like over a year ago? Um, and it was, uh, I put it right here, it was learning how to penny board. Um, in the end of that video, I mean in the beginning of the video, I was saying how um, I wanted to do something, but I didn't get to do it. And that was this. <laughs> I want a hoop, but my mom doesn't want that. She wants me to get a stud because she said they're easier to clean. But I don't care. I just want to get a hoop right away. I know in the comments going to be like, not like that's so much worse for you like you're supposed to get a, a stud first and then move on to the hoop i don't really care i'm just gonna get the hoop or that's what i want but we really don't know what i'm gonna do so right now i'm gonna get ready <laughs> so i just did my hair i straightened it and then for my outfit um just a brandy mobile uh zip up with some jean shorts hey guys so we just got there we're walking right now because they had to park a little bit far away um and yeah we're gonna go in and like fill out the papers and stuff like that Okay guys, so my gosh my camera is 20% and it dies so quickly so I have to tell you guys I'm trying to get a good lighting. It's bloody right now, but it honestly when it, after it happened and my like eyes are watering like crazy, I don't know how my mom got the shots. It could be horrible. I haven't watched them yet. Um after he did it, I was thinking, I was like, what did it feel? Like I'm trying to think of like a an analogy or a similarity that I can compare it to. But I was like, no, it literally felt exactly what it is. I could literally feel the needle go through my nose like through my skin it felt exactly how it did so yeah there was a pinch there not gonna lie and i felt it when it was in me and my eyes were watering but i wasn't it didn't hurt i wasn't like crying it's just because um your eyes water when you get a nose piercing because your tear glands are right here so when you when you pierce your nose they just naturally start watering like crazy especially the one that it was on which is this eye so yeah um I can see it in my peripheral vision, like, especially if I close my eyes. Sorry, that's like a really bad look for me. Anyway, guys, I love it. I still want to get a hoop. So right now, guys, we are at Walgreens because we're getting some of, like, the saline, like, squirty stuff. Because, um, he said I can use that to help if I have to, like, blow my nose, which I don't because I'm not sick. Um, but sometimes it happens, right? Or if it's bleeding, I can just squirt some of that onto here and just let it kind of, like, run. Because right now, you guys can see it's, like bleeding um because i literally have a hole in my nose <laughs> i already have two holes but i meant a third hole um and an unnatural hole hi guys it's the next day and i thought that i'd update you guys on just how everything went and everything that the guy said because i said a little bit in the car yesterday but not a lot okay so let's get into it if you've ever gotten a piercing from claire's uh don't <laughs> it's like the worst place to go to we already knew that though um, but anyway, so the guy said that literally it is such a marketing thing. Um, they make you buy their specific solution or clean or whatever for your piercings from Claire's, which is obviously just to make money. They have you like, say you're supposed to like, uh, put the solution on and then you're supposed to like twist the piercing and I remember like twisting it and I, I don't know, it's just weird. Like you're not even, apparently you're not supposed to even touch the piercings. I mean, I have not gotten a piercing in so long. My first piercing I got when I was six years old and my second, my double piercings I got when I was nine years old and I'm 16. So I have not gotten a piercing in a long time and I've all, I've known for years now not to go to Claire's. So that, that, yeah. But I'm just letting you guys know, don't go to Claire's. Go to a professional, like a tattoo place slash piercing place or um, just a piercing place, whatever. Like usually they're tattoo slash piercings and you do some research because you have to know that they know what they're doing. The place that I went to knew what they were doing. I, I got it recommended to by somebody else. Um, we called ahead of time. Like we were 
all set and good to go. And we walked in and it was super easy, quick, and um, yeah, the guy, he was with us the whole time and he was so nice and he definitely knew what he was doing. He told us um, to clean it. Literally, all you have to do is soap and water um, when you're like washing your face. Right, literally, just do the same thing that you always do. Like, get your soap and you wash your face. Just how you do it, but just be gentle around that area. Don't twist it too much, but you know, you definitely want to get in there and get some soap in there. You don't have to have any special solution from Claire's or anything. You literally just have to wash it. And the most, the most thing that you can do, um, but to not get it infected is do not touch it. Do not twist it, do not poke at it, do not get your bacteria, oily fingers inside of the wound. Like there is still some blood, so trigger warning, if you don't like blood, then don't watch this. But I'll show you guys. Um, oh, there it is. It's not really zoomed in, but yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I can't lie. It kind of feels like um, a booger sometimes. If I like flare it, like like that and it feels like a booger and you know what guys it could totally get infected without me even touching it once it's just kind of just depends on your nose's like reaction to the like stab wound <laughs> if you guys have been wanting this for a while like i've been wanting it for a really long time and if you have to just go do it it hurts for like i'm not gonna lie it did pinch a little bit because it is you are putting a needle through your nose it's not gonna feel like nothing but it's so worth it it really i mean it, it, it right away i was like oh i have a nose piercing it's awesome so totally go do it anyway you guys i love you so much and just go do it if you want to do it and if you have the permission to do it and the money to do it go do it do it do it do it okay anyway bye guys i love you so much